I think my computer is like mimicking my I don't even know right now I have no like brain power thought process whatever the fuck um my computer is like way slower than usual it's weird okay seriously even the sun doesn't want to be here right now <laughs> So it's almost 5 p.m. which would normally be when I end this but I haven't vlogged at all today and I really want to because I find it really fun and enjoyable and like soothing but I haven't been able to get myself to vlog because anxiety and mental health suck. So let's have a chat. Um, I don't even know where to like start this. Um, Pretty much, I have GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder. I probably have something more specific, but that's what I was diagnosed with when I was diagnosed like six, seven years ago. I don't even know. Um, but along with that, I also have the fun side effects of anxiety, including depression, OCD. It's OCD, right? whatever that one is. Um, then I have all my other fun things where when I get really anxious, I have everything from like just severe migraines to short-term memory loss. If it's really bad, then there's blackouts. And if it's like really, really bad, then I actually go temporarily blind in one eye. Um, it's fun. On the bright side, only the first two that I mentioned happen like constant. Um, and then I also have like paranoia and all those fun things and the reason that I haven't been vlogging is A, I've just been like depression, <laughs> whatever, um, pretty much my depression is not being able to do anything productive. It's essentially like burnout despite the fact that I have nothing to be burned out about. It's all mental. Um, not to mention the migraine that has not gone away and I feel like I've been hungover since yesterday when I haven't had any form of alcohol or anything at all except for water. Um, and so yeah, it's fun. And the reason that I have not vlogged other than the fact that I haven't done anything is the paranoia part of my anxiety, which is great because when I'm in this state of being like just on the cusp of full on depression and whatever else, my brain likes to imagine that I am being watched by literally just anyone who I've like, it can be a book character, it can be people from a TV show that I recently watched, and they're just watching me, and, like, judging me, or whatever else, and it's like my brain imagines my stalkers. So, currently, I am in my room, blinds closed, because for some reason my stalkers are in a building across the street watching me. And I have my bedroom door closed because my other stalkers are in my living room. Um, and I know they're not actually there because I can clearly see that they are not there. But my brain likes to play tricks on me and make me believe that I am being watched and judged and that they're right there talking t about me, sometimes talking to me. And essentially I'm insane. 
so yeah that is that has been my day uh just trying to get my brain to shut up um doesn't help that i've like the only thing i've been able to get myself to do is read and the only books that i'm currently interested in are like literally books about stalkers <laughs> i swear somehow i'm doing this to myself but i don't know how or why or how to stop um but yeah that's essentially it um I don't know if anyone else has experienced this. I've been having it since before I was even diagnosed. I've been imagining being stalked since I was like eight-ish. Yeah, like eight. I used to imagine like this creepy old guy in a trench coat, like watching me from the forest and like peeking in through my bedroom window, which isn't a possibility because my room's always been on the second floor and yeah so my brain is fun sometimes it's like there's nobody there which is when i'm feeling comfortable enough to like go to the gym or just like chill out or whatever else like i can't even do stuff that like i don't know i just i feel so uncomfortable doing literally anything even if it's normal stuff that people would do out in public all the time I just don't feel comfortable doing it despite the fact that I know I am alone and it is like the weirdest feeling ever because even right now my mind is picturing that all my stalkers are currently listen listening to me talk about this to you and it is so freaking creepy and yeah that's pretty much it um, my brain is like pounding in my head right now and I have to go sit down and attempt to paint because even now I don't feel comfortable painting because I feel like I'm just like being watched and yeah. My brain is a very fun place to be. And I just wanted to talk about that a little bit. I honestly don't know what the point of this was. I just really wanted to talk because I do actually live alone and I'm not about to start talking to the people that my brain imagine because that would just be like a whole nother level. <laughs> that I am not ready to hit um and yeah that is it that is vlogmas day eight I hope you enjoyed I hope you don't stop watching um and if you're curious to know more because there is so much more please feel free to ask in the comments and yeah, that is essentially it. I literally feel so uncomfortable and I know I'm alone and it is the weirdest, creepiest feeling ever. Okay. Okay, I'm kind of scared to leave my room now. I'm not like, this isn't clickbait. Like this is actually how my brain functions. And I know that there's nobody in my living room right now. And I know that there's nobody across the street watching me from a freaking building. And yet I'm kind of scared to leave my room like to open the door because I've talked about the like forbidden or whatever and it's like <sighs> I don't understand what's wrong with my brain I really don't but I'm gonna open the door while on camera just because I'm honestly kind of scared to open the door right now I really don't understand why. So 
So let's open my door. Nobody's here. And yeah, I was actually freaking terrified to open my door. Okay, that's it. Hi now. <laughs>